This video is sponsored by PokedownStore.com, the place for all your Pokemon TCG online needs. The new Sword and Shield online booster packs are also available, so definitely check them out, PokedownStore.com. Also, if you use the coupon code ZAPDOSTCG, you get 5% of your next order. How amazing is that? Check it out. What's up YouTube, it's Zapdos TCG here and welcome back to another TCG battle video on my channel. Today we're going to be playing with the first place winning deck list of the Perth Regionals and uh, none other than Henry, Henry Brand won the entire event with Mewtwo. So Mewtwo is still around but it's not the usual archetype as you can see from all these weird attackers. It's not the Welder build, it's not the Handlock Malamar build, it's going to be Binder Drop Special Energy build. <laughs> That's what I'm calling it for now. So we have lots of special energies and the reason uh, we are uh, making it work is all thanks to Sol Galeo, not the Turbo Strike one, but Soul Burst GX. We can use Soul Burst GX and accelerate five energies from the deck immediately onto our Pokemon, and that does include special energy, so that way Mewtwo is set up. Then we can have, of course, the Perfection ability kicking in life, and just we just need to get some attackers in the discard pile so we can start using their attacks. We have Miss Slash. If you're up against Obstagoon, go through them immediately, very easily. If you're up against huge attackers, a Rocket Splash can actually dish out 60 damage for every amount of water energy we're willing to shuffle back into our deck. So after using the Soul Burst GX and uh, you have lots of uh, Rainbow Energies, Aurora Energies or Unit Energies, you can actually get one hit KOs very quickly with this attack. We have things like Alola Radigate, my personal favorite one, aka the Jirachi Slayer. With Chuck Away, we can smack 40 damage for every card we are willing to discard from our hand, and we can discard up to two cards. That means uh, if we can discard two, you really smack 80 damage. Very nifty knocking out Jirachi, nifty knocking out Vulpix, uh, knocking out Ditto, um, Poipols, uh, Inkays, whatever. All of these weak Pokemon you want to KO them. Fantastic. What else? There's uh, still ADP in here. Sometimes we use Alter Creation instead of Soul Burst Jacks. That's up against the one price decks mainly because that is going to help us out a lot. We have low energy amount attackers in the form of Vile Plume, which can smack 180 damage if we don't have any damage counters on ourselves. You might worry about the rainbow energies, don't worry about it. In DDV, can uh, recover 20 damage from our active Mewtwo if you want that. If you use uh, the Desert Hurricane attack from Flygon, we smack 240 damage if there is a Stadium card in play. And uh, what uh, Stadium card do we run? Chaotic Swell. That means Fire Plant cannot come into play, but more importantly, Shrine and Lysander Labs get shut down. Lysander Labs means that the uh, Big Charm uh, is going to be live most of the game if we find them. That's going to be fantastic. Not being able to shut that down means Mewtwo does have 300 HP. Same goes for the Air Balloon, we do have Free Retreat uh, with Ardadene, even with an Absol. Think about that, huh? Uh, what else can we say about this list? It's very consistent with 4 Quick Ball, 4 Cherish Ball, 4 Switch, 4 Research. So that, that is very consistent, uh, all these 4 offs. And then there's a Tackle Engine to find Mewtwo's, but also Cynthia Catlin, Goose Mahala and Melvin Lama are part of the deck. What else do we have of attackers? Sniping 50 damage on everything on the bench can be an option with Solar Plan, but also 160 damage is not a bad idea. And uh, if this Pokemon is your active Pokemon when you attach a Grass Energy from your hand, uh, this is not going to work out because they're all special energies. But uh, this is, can also be used in, in certain scenarios against, of course, things like... Mill, for instance, you can smack uh, 50 damage to every one of those Pokemon, maybe knocking out uh, a little cheeky ditto or whatever. We'll see how we uh, use that, but uh, there's a lot of attackers we can choose from, that's for sure. If we use Soul Burst Jackson, there's a lot of energies in play. We can even abuse Xerneas Prism Star to absorb some energies and fly to the active position, just like a Heatran GX would do. And this can actually smack easy uh, KOs on ADP because ADP is weak against Fairy. Wobbuffet just shuts down Tapu Koko Prism Star, making Picaram slower than they would have liked to be. And also things like Ditto Prism Star, they can no longer evolve, as well as shutting down Victini Prism Star, which sometimes can get huge one-hit KOs on us. Galarian Zigzagoon helps with the numbers output. For instance, if you're up against Heatran, you can use Massive Bloom. With simple one Galarian, we can smack 190. Same goes for Chuck Away, we can smack that up to 90 with that one simple copy of Galarian Zigzagoon. Okay, uh, let's try this out. Henry Brandt uh, invented a new Mew Mew list, and that's what we're gonna try out. Uh, it was notable that there's not a lot of players at the regionals because uh, yeah, Corona is still a huge threat in uh, the global society. And uh, we also want to have, of course, a huge shout out to Henry Brand because he actually uh, told us that this list has an 80% win ratio against ADP Station. And what other deck has that, right? 
maybe baby blinds, but sometimes baby blinds does not draw too well and then you break either way. But this can be legit with all those insane uh, things. Okay, we have NDDV to start off with, not the best starter. You would love to start off with Mewtwo. But uh, with four switches and having a quick ball and having a raw energy, I think we are good to go, ladies and gentlemen. It's an NK with Cherish Ball, which means Mewtwo. We need to uh, uh, yeah, get a weak guard energy equipped as quickly as possible because otherwise we're gonna get smacked by horror house shenanigans. Okay, Cherish Ball, we see. Okay, we'll see. Okay, Gengar Mimikyu immediately. Uh, that is weak to darkness. Uh, we can no, not evolve most of our Pokemon. They need to be in the discard pile, so we need to be wary. Uh, there's only two weak guard energies, so we're gonna leave in DDV in the active slot. It is weak to darkness, which is a good help in our scenario. Two NKs down. Cool. We can actually eat up one NK if we get uh, our Pokemon in the active slot. Okay, we get Mewtwo which is always a fantastic treat to see. We're gonna use Quick Ball. We can find an attacker of choice. Uh, what can help in this scenario? ADP? Maybe. ADP could help out uh, in certain scenarios. We could also go for Soul Burst GX. If we use Soul Burst GX, our deck is immediately flooded with lots of energies and then we can go crazy. He's probably gonna go with a Mewtwo of his own. Hmm. Soul Burst GX is something I adore so much. I want to use Soul Burst and get... How many weak guard energies are in the, in the deck? Only one, okay. <laughs> no uh, use of getting out two Mewtwo's. Just gonna get this ADP up. We are gonna smack down Chaotix well. Gonna use Aurora Energy on our Mewtwo. We're gonna get rid of the ADP. And then we're gonna smack down the Dene. Alright, we'll see how we go from there. Don't have weak guard energy just yet. We do have a switch card and a big charm. Uh, he could come with a Gengar Mimikyu scenario, which is something we don't want to see. Cherish Ball, finding Vile Plume is also a nice way. Or we can go for Soul Burst GX and keep ourselves safe. Yeah, I think. Yeah, there's no. We cannot discard it. However, we do have the Denny in hand. We already used one, the Denny. It's gonna have to wait till next time. Soul Burst GX can get us the weak guard energy we desperately want. Okay, switching around and knocking out this insane threat. Ultra Creation GX for one. That could be an option, actually. That could be an option. We're actually going to try this out. Chuck away, getting rid of these two cards. Ta-da! We knock out. <laughs> oh yeah, we only need to discard one. Not that it matters too much. Not that it has any use. Should have kept those in the hand, now that I think about it. He's gonna use fill up our hand, probably with a Malamar scenario. If he uses, oh boy, if he uses Horror House GX for like one thing, we can still use Soul Burst GX afterwards, so we can get that weak guard energy equipped anyhow. Okay, four. Yeah, it's already three item cards, or actually three trainer cards. I'm afraid of this uh, scenario. <laughs> well, Wobbuffet could have helped with that ditto. Should have not done that. We could have found it easily with Quick Ball. Forgot about the weakness on Inke for that a little bit. Okay, here comes the good old mysterious treasure. Mewtwo? Will he be able to one-hit KO our Mewtwo? That is the question. He has an attach of the turn. He can Melamorph, presumably. Stealthy Hood? Dene? Is that a Dene? Or is he just gonna go for one attack? What can attack? Horror House GX, okay fine we can no longer play cards from the hand but we can however use soul burst gx okay soul burst gx we have weak guard energy that is what we want the rainbow energies maybe smacking some rainbows down they come from the deck so we don't uh, have any other ways we can have a downside from them okay here we go Weak Guard Energy goes onto this guy immediately. Rainbow Energy over here means we can start using a huge amount of damage. Start using the attack of ADP to one hit KO this guy, sure. One Energy over there and then I'm actually gonna get all the energies on the NDD which can help out as well. It's also a Psychic type. There we go. 
Soul Burst GX. We were not able to play down any of our cards, but uh, we did play Soul Burst GX and uh, he is just stuck. Probably gonna see another Dedenne at this point. And we will get the first KO. If he comes with another Mewtwo, we have an Ndidi waiting in the back, which is awesome. So, we'll see what the opponent throws at us as next. They concede because this is the superior Mewtwo list. Soul Burst GX was so amazing. So, that attack of Radigate, also very underrated. It actually helped us win the game by putting Soul Galeo in the discard pile. We were not able to play down any cards, but we were able to use the GX move Soul Burst GX. Let's be playing it around with the ultimate Mew Mew list. Up against Ability Zard. Okay, Ability Zard typically uses one prizer, so I think we're gonna have to go with the ADP strategy. Start using Ultra Creation, although if he gets the one-head KO afterwards, things go, go wrong very quickly. Okay, we start with the Reshizard. Not what I wanted to see. A Chuck Away also helps out uh, getting cheeky KOs on the Jirachi if it stays active. He probably thinks this is a Welder Mewtwo list. We can also dunk people with this, so uh, uh, too bad. He has Quick Ball. So let's say they have a lone Jirachi, don't have any other Pokemon. Chuck Away is where it's at. Zero energies and bam, you win. Heat Factory drawing cards. We're gonna smack down Kylex Swell immediately, so that's gonna be the last Heat Factory he's gonna see. Dirtnator. Ooh, scary. Energy to the Dirtnator. Okay, one prizer. We can take that. I want to destroy this Jirachi as soon as possible. So, what do I need? We have Tackle. Finding ourselves easy enough Mewtwo. Maybe an ADP so we can put it in the discard pile. We can also find. Yeah, Air Balloon will not help with the Guzman Hala in the scenario. We could have. Mellow and Llama. We have a Cherish Ball. Not making any risks. We can go for Mellow and Llama. Use the chip away right there. It's probably gonna one-hit KO us anyhow. I think this is the safest bet. We have the uh, insurance. Is there a, re a Lone Eradicate in the house? Of course there is. If we whiff on the switch, that's gonna be bad. There's only three of them in there. Don't wanna take any risks whatsoever. So I'm gonna play it safe. I'm gonna go for Mewtwo. Gonna go for the uh, Cherish Ball, finding ourselves our good friend, Radigate. Radigate! Here we go, we have the Radigate in play, smacking Kyalix well down, not taking any risks, gonna go for the Mellow and Lana, just switching. Yeah, I know it's a supporter, I know it's bad, but uh, at least now we ha make sure that we have everything. Look at this, we wouldn't have even drawn a switch card, that's what I told you about. We have the attach of the turn, which can help out a lot, we can also use the Quick Ball, Discarding, yeah, might as well discard the Blastoise. There's no use for this guy at this point. We have another Dedenne, which we can get out, or in DDV to help with the numbers. I don't think numbers, number wise, there's any trouble here. So, Dedenne for next turn is probably safer. Also, we get a prize card sooner or later. So, energy over there. Wobbuffet, do we smack that down just yet? He could target it down with Nine Tails, so we might as well wait a little bit. And here comes Chuck away. So we need to discard two cards, it's gonna be the attackers. That's very uh, nice. And we get the, oh, what? Oh, the resistance. Oh yeah, that's where Galarian Zigzagoon. We should have gotten that out. Dang it. That was another misplay on my part. Not that it matters too much because we are gonna be able to one hit KO this Jirachi with a Galarian Zigzagoon later down the line. And that's gonna help us out as well. Okay, fiery flints and all that stuff, fine. Oh, that was a misplay on my part. Should have gotten out the Galarian Zigzagoon, so he was not able to uh, use any of his uh, moves. Okay, he's setting up a Turtonator on the back. Nice and swifty. Are we able to snipe anything? Dark Mist, put one of your opponent's Pokemon Bench Pokemon and all cards attached into the opponent's hand. Hmm, that sounds very nifty. 50 damage on everything. Okay, we have lots of options. <laughs> This Turtonator looks scary though. We can put him back in the hand. We can knock out Jirachi, put this guy back in the... Is, is it in the hand or in the deck? Put one of your opponent's all cards attached into your opponent's hand. Okay, that slows him down quite a bit. He needs to find more welders that way. Okay, he's gonna go for the turret. Start smacking some huge damage. Okay, 200 damage. Oh, that's scary. I think we're gonna have to wait until... Yeah, 200 damage. This is the KO. Hopefully we KO two Pokemon at once in this scenario. We have switch cards. Smacking down the WAP, of course. We need some room for the, the one and only Galarian Zigzagoon. If we're able to find it, we are not able to find it. Oh, this is so sad. 
So sad. We can use Greninja though, uh, but he still survives with this. Dang it. So, this is not a good position to be in. Not at all. But we need to KO this guy as quickly as possible. We guard energy. Might as well equip that. So we can start using Mist Slash. Soul Burst GX is always an option, but at this point, it's not gonna help us out too much. Here you go. How many HP? 60 HP. 60 or 90 HP, I don't think it makes any difference. Static Shock, Outrage. Yeah, Outrage is fine as it is. So Outrage, bang. Knocking out Terminator. Only one prize card though, so. Ta-ta! What do we get? A switch card. So many switch cards. Not what we wanted to see. He already lost seven energies, which is good. Stellar Wish, hopefully no welder. Quick ball. Will we see the Danny? Quick ball for quick ball. Okay, quick ball for an energy. I'm scared right now. Heatran is coming up. He's gonna knock us out. Welder of the, yeah, attach energies like crazy. He's gonna knock us out with, of course, the attack. Steaming Stomp. The bad news is that, uh, yeah, we did not get out the Calarian Zigzagoon <laughs> in time. So if we would have done that, I wonder how this match would have turned out. But that's just me, right? Resistance of Jirachi plays a huge part in this scenario. Okay, we got knocked out. Scary. He is now able to uh, threaten us with 300 damage of the Heatran. Gonna promote the huge Charizard for now. <laughs> yeah, here's the Zigzagoon. Hello. Yeah. A little bit late to the party. Okay. Taking prize cards. Cha da! Quick ball. Okay, that's not too bad. Quick ball. Getting rid of switch card. All right. Cha da! Energy to the Mewtwo. Yeah, might as well get rid of this guy. Switching. And if he has the welder, we're done for. Might as well get the big charm while we're at it. Okay, what to do? What to do? Dark Mist put one poke one of your opponent's bench Pokemon. Oh, too bad. Chuck away. Yeah, Soul Burst GX, I guess. So one, two, three, four, five energies. Here we go. Where do we put them? Couldn't put them on the Charizard. No. Energy to the Mewtwo. Another energy to the Mewtwo. We are able to smack not a huge amount of damage, but still. Three energies over here. Even if he knocks it out, we're done for, so. Might as well get some energies over there. Look at that. Mewtwo is filled with a lot of Aurora energies. And if we whiff the Welder right now, we will be glad. If he has like one little Dedenne, also, 8 energies in the discard pile. Think about that. Maybe he doesn't have energies anymore. Typically, they play 18, so they still have lots of them in the spare. I wonder. I wonder what we should do. Okay, here comes Charizard. Welder onto the bench Charizard. Two energies there. Interesting. Three energies over there. Jirachi, communication, the day. Why is the Danny going away? Ninetales. Interesting development. Steaming stop. Okay, leaving us south open for an attack of Charizard. Okay, that's fine. Maybe he lives on an energy. He's still able to smack 200, which means we're done for. <laughs> okay. We cannot use the... Ah, this is so sad. Should have done something else entirely. Not gonna help out as as much as I would love. We, we, we should have attacked with Charizard at this point, so we could retreat and actually save this game. Oh well, we're just gonna say well played. That is what it is. And he's gonna knock us out with the GX move. Okay, very interesting development. We only needed two more prize cards, but still, Charizard sometimes overwhelms us. And uh, in this scenario, I should have actually gone for the Galarian Zigzagoon, so we actually. Uh, reduce the chances of the opponent getting a Wilder. It was a checkmate position with his Ninetales and his Charizard, so 
Either way, even if we retreated, he would have gotten us anyhow. Okay, one more game with Mewtwo and the ultimate rainbow bill. Let's see here. Looking for an opponent. And what do we find? Fire, Psychic, Carless. I wonder, could be anything. Could be Mewtwo, could be Wilder Bills. I'm gonna go first. You always wanna go first with this list. If you go second, you have a little Renegade to Donk, but <laughs> look at this. The Dennis start, well, hello. We can quick ball from you to a touch of turn switch and then go for the Silgaleo immediately. Which is something I adore. Okay, Mincino. Ooh, could this be what I think it is? All right, quick ball. Mallow and Lana goes away. We're gonna use the Dennis either way, with the actually a research anyway. Mew 2, okay. We need to go for Ultra Creation GX as quickly as possible. We do have lots of ways we can find that, so. Aurora Energy. Might as well use the Rainbow Energy and see what we're up against first before we jump into conclusions. Ta da! Okay, next turn we hopefully uh, will be able to find a Cherish Ball and be able to discard it. That means we can use 8 Ultra Creation GX and start going from there. All right. Great ball, probably gonna be Mill. Does it have a great matchup against Mill? Okay, fluffy pillows and all that. Probably need to save our switches for this matchup. Hmm. Here is Mareep, Zation V. Also, I don't know if there's a way we can target that down. So, here we have Aurora Energy getting rid of the Solgaleo, using a switch card, going for the research. Cha-cha! What do we find? We have a Quick Ball. Okay, at least we can at attack with the Vile Plume. So we have Quick Ball. What do we get rid of? Actually, the Quick Ball ensures us ADP. Right? Okay, we have to unfortunately smack it down <laughs> because otherwise we're not able to use it. We have to we have to be uh, quicker than the opponent. So here comes Ultra Creation GX. We take additional prize cards because we have a, a Aurora Energy and a Rainbow Energy. So now the opponent is on a clock. We have a switch in hand. Switch and attach can be a way we can uh, escape this uh, sleep lock. We also have Cynthian, Catlin, and Tackle to be able to find our Mallow and Lana back. Air Balloons coming, so we only need to nick out three Pokemon. Hopefully the dolls. Ah, the dolls are here. Since this list is also not running... Hey, this guy has 50 HP. If it goes to the bench, we can start using... Eh, ah, now nah, we already used the GX move. We could get rid of a lot of dolls, actually. Okay, what did he get rid of? We can use Charizard. We are asleep. We are gonna be able to knock out this uh, little Mareep as it is. Okay, Interpret Sword. Okay, we even wake up, which is insane. Okay, we don't even need to rely on the switch card in our hand. We have so many energies. Does this lizard run crushing hammers? Who knows, but might as well give one energy over there. You never know. Okay, we have options of a whole heap of attacks. I think in this scenario, Massive Bloom will do the trick. 170, getting two prize cards. Alright, we have Tackle, finding ourselves. Cynthia and Catelyn to get the Guzman uh, the research back. The uh, Metal and Long, that's what I meant. Now it's gonna go a little bit crazier because if we are asleep again, he needs to promote Mareep once again, otherwise things go wrong very quickly. What else do we have? We have Desert Hurricane, Massive Bloom, Outrage, Sun Still Strike. Maybe this list needs some sort of a Venom shot? Who knows? Baloba. Okay, what is this? Great Catcher goes away. Hmm, don't want to see that. What is in the discard of the opponent? Two Balabas. Not bad. We only need to KO two more Pokemon. I wonder if we're gonna be able to do it. We have switch cards, we can tackle. Don't want to tin out the deck just yet. 
we have everything in hand just gonna go through all these dolls while we're at it massive bloom okay Maybe should have used Tackle to find Mello, uh, the Cynthia and Catelyn while we're at it. I don't know if this list has a great matchup against a Stall, seeing as we don't have any ways we can gust the opponent. Balalbas, here they come. Another Doll, okay. I don't think we're going to be able to win at this pace since we don't have gusting cards. Maybe Pokemon Catcher would be a fantastic addition in this list. Hmm, what to do? Still needs to discard a whole heap of cards, right? And we don't have any shuffle cards, as I uh, recall. Two dolls. Is he only smacking down one doll at a time? Two dolls at a time. Oh boy. This is not looking good. Not looking good at all. We are not asleep, though, so that uh, slumbering force is not helping out. Here comes the Balel bus getting uh, three cards. Our anger is gone though. Maybe if he gets rid of another one, maybe there's one prize. Still has ordinary rot though. Balalbus taking their toll. Okay, Palpad. We don't have a lot of turns left. Ah, this is so sad. Evolution Incense. Interpret Sword. He draws everything right now. Don't think this list can win against Mill. Yeah, might as well smack this down so no longer we are getting asleep by this. Massive Bloom! 170? Yeah, a, a way more. Yeah, with the uh, Alter Creation. What can we do about this? One more doll. Make do. We already know how the mill deck works. We already discovered it in full detail on the channel, but this is insane. He draws his entire deck. Probably gonna go Lieutenant Surge, Balalba, Balalba. That means we don't have a lot of turns left. Fire Crystal. Okay, that is interesting. Instead of Ordinary Rod, using Fire Crystal, make do. Okay, now he has his entire deck in his hand. He has full control. Are there any dolls left? Ranguru, okay. All right. He's gonna mill six cards again. We draw for turn seven. Don't think we are gonna be able to make it. Still want to make this video though, because this is an interesting list that you should try out for yourself. The ultimate Mewtwo list. So many options, but against mill, not what you want to see. Palpat. Palalba's there back. He has the full setup. Okay, just passing the turn. Fine as it is. Here we go. Massive bloom. Boom. This guy just needs to shuffle and treat dolls and uh, we will be able... <laughs> we won't be able to do anything because we don't have any gusting cards. Maybe one copy of Fion could find his, sneak its way in here. To have a better matchup against this. Because now we can KO... This Oranguru, and then use Fionn afterwards, but... Balalba Bryson, man. Keep discarding with lots of our resources. What else is gone? How many switch cards? Three switch cards. Ooh, scary. If he wants to go for the Mareep uh, strategy, that's also an option. Let's see what he gets back. We only have 11 cards left, so either way, we're still taking two prize cards, and then he he just needs to shuffle and three dolls to win. Three dolls will save him so much trouble. Come on, man. Research management. Don't see the dolls. Don't want to see the dolls. Maybe he's going to go for the insane combo. Of this milling 11 cards, that is an option. Lieutenant Surge and Balelbus, hello. Okay. Massive Bloom. 
Uh, we take two prize cards. We'll see what happens now. Probably gonna have the full combo. So many resources already in the discard pile. Two Kylex Wells. Okay, Mewtwo's popping up. Energy, McCargo. Well played because he's gonna get the full combo. And that's that. Lieutenant Surge 2, Bilal Bomb, Bryson Mance, together with McCargo GX means we don't have any cards anymore anyhow hopefully you enjoyed this video of the new Mewtwo deck check it out for yourself it has answers against a whole heap of the meta not against Mill uh, presumably uh, just add in Fion Fion will help this matchup so much also if you uh, want to see some more deck profiles and uh, TCGO matches be sure to subscribe and I'll be seeing you guys in the next video peace out